Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As always, if there's a game you would like me to play, drop it down in the comments below and I would love to try it out. So today's episode is a little longer. I wasn't sure if I wanted to break it down into three separate videos and then be about eight to 10 minutes or just make one long video. So I did decide to just make it into one longer video and I will add the times of the different sections of the African village if you would like to look at one part of the village opposed to the other I will include that now so you can go ahead and click at the time that you would like to watch and if not let's just go ahead and get started all right so I don't really have any fun facts for this episode I I guess I used them all up in the, in the last episode. But on today's episode, we are building the, the African elephant crossing sign, or at least for the first third of the video. And this was a little difficult trying to build the path. So I actually cut out a good chunk of me just trying to figure out how I wanted to go about this path. I know I wanted the elephants to walk over it but trying to build the tunnel system is rather difficult, actually. I don't know if I'm not quite sure how to work the path system exactly, but it was very difficult. It took me a, a rather long time to try and get it to look semi-decent. So I think how it ended is, it, I don't know if I'm 100% all right with it. It doesn't look bad. But I think maybe if I have some time, another time, I'll try and go in and make it look a little better. And it is definitely a little bigger than the actual African Elephant Crossing sign. But I don't know, I think, I think it did turn out nice and I was very excited about it. So it was a little hard trying to get everything lined up straight and perfect, but I know ever since I started using the, the lock, the lock rotation, it's definitely helped out a lot and making sure things are like symmetrical and even. So that's helped out a lot. And I definitely learn something new every time I make a new video and record something, I'll find something knew that I didn't know they had. I'm like, oh, this is cool. I can use this um, to do this, or this would look cool if I use it as that. And so I'm very excited that I just get to learn every time I record. I just learn something new, and I, I think I definitely improve with each video, and I'm very excited about that. And I also hope that when you're watching these videos that there's something that you learn too. Like you didn't know you could use something in a way that you thought, oh, like, in the first video when I used the water fountain as the the base of the the poles I use the top of the water fountain you know just shove things down it's it's just fun how you can just mess around with things and then something cool will come out of it
and I did realize after I built the rest of the enclosure that in the map you can see that it's kind of at a diagonal and I made it I guess horizontal which I guess you know it's alright because this isn't gonna be an exact replica of the Cleveland Zoo you know I'll see things and I'll think oh this you know this would look cooler if I did it this way or this would look better if I did it this way you know and th there isn't you just can't make an exact replica but I think and I think it's gonna end up really cool I'm very excited about it and one thing that I did also find out is plants if you just put plants in trees and shrubbery if you just throw them around I think it makes your habitat and your zoo just look more full and finished and and not so bare because I'm as you'll see in a moment I start putting plants around and trees and shrubbery around this little entranceway and it just makes it look so much better not only for for the zoo but even when you just take some screenshots it looks better when there's not just open land just hanging out in the back it, I, it just looks so nice once you put all these plants around putting the trees and plants in place and just right away you can see it already looks so much nicer. Yeah, so here I am still struggling with the path. I don't know if there's an easier way to go about it or if paths are just very difficult to work with. And lately I've been running into an issue where it says a terrain modification. Like the paths just won't work. They won't place, but sometimes they will and sometimes they won't. I'm not sure if that's, that's a bug or if I'm just doing something wrong. I don't know. I've just been having a lot of issues with that lately. And it's been kind of frustrating because I just want to put a path down and it's like, nope, try again. So I didn't like how it was just open at the top there, so I was like, yeah, might as well make it look like the gates are closed and the elephants are crossing it. You know, so they're always crossing. Alright, so here's the finished product of the elephant crossing gate. I am actually very excited with how it turned out. I think I think it resembles it pretty well and I and I like the idea of the people walking under instead of over. That way it doesn't interfere with the elephant's habitat and I'm just very excited and pleased with how that turned out. Now we're going to work on the African village. So at the Cleveland Zoo, this little space in between the elephant's habitat, they call the African village. It actually has an educational building and people can go in there and watch the elephants get bathed and there's a ton of information on the elephants in there. So I actually just made it 
a restroom and so there's just a few food items in there and this building it was it was kind of difficult I made it in such a weird shape and it's three different units I guess so it was very difficult to actually put a roof on there as you'll see later it's it's uh, yeah it's a mess but I think in the end it turned out all right The designs above this side of the building, I really, really wanted to get them in, but I couldn't find anything that resembled it enough. All I did was, I was able to get these X's on there, and later on I find some cylinders to put some dots, so it doesn't look exactly like it. I think it's similar enough, but I, I wish I could have made it, made it look a little more like the actual building. So here I am trying to tackle this roof. Yeah, it was it was very difficult just because it was such an oddly shaped building. And I'm not sure if there's an easier way to extend on the front of buildings cuz right now I have to just go in and advance place it. Whereas like the sides of the building they have a little side extender. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. But you can extend like the sides of the building but not the front. So I'm not sure if there is an easier way to go about that or if I do just have to go in and advance move the roof on there. But if so, I mean that's it's not that bad. I can I can handle that. But this this center part where it curves, this was difficult. I could not figure out how I wanted to go about it. I tried so many different options and I was not pleased with how any of them turned out. I do in the end find something that, that works. You know, I think just because I know it looks like that, it, it irritates me a little bit. But once you see the finished product, it, it doesn't look bad. You can't even tell the roof's a little wonky looking. But I do get to a point where I just can't figure out how to finish this roof. So I, I, I just pause and come back to it because I want it to look good. So I don't want to get just frustrated. So I just pause and come back and go work on something else for a minute.
So the education board that I put here, I thought it was a nice touch. However, since it is between the habitats, it's far enough where it's not picking up that it is near the elephant's habitat. So now I have this constant notification that there is a misplaced habitat board, which it can get a little irritating just because I like to make sure all of my notifications are clean and good and I don't have any notifications. But I guess that's something I'll just have to deal with because I, I really like how it looks here and I don't want to move it. So we're, we're just going to keep it there and I guess just deal with the notification sign hanging out there. So here's where I found the cylinders and I decided these will do. They'll work for, for a nice little design. Yeah, it doesn't look exactly like the design on the building, but I think it adds a, a nice touch to it. And since the cylinders do actually go through the wall and you can see them on the other side, but I think when I add the roof or the ceiling to the building, I think it hides them so it doesn't look as silly from the inside. And here I'm adding the ATMs, the hut, and some like information boards just to make the building look not so boring. So now I decided to go back to the roof and see if I could figure something out. This was, I don't know why this was just so difficult. And I, I didn't like those, so I did decide to just come to these shapes and see if there was something there that worked. So I did find these these half circles combined with a square, those worked out. And then once I changed them to a deep red color, you honestly can't really tell that those are there. Maybe if you look real close, but I think for for this job, I think it, it looks pretty, pretty. Alright, so here is the finished product. I am pleased with how the exterior of the building turned out. I think it resembles the pictures fairly well. While I'm not as pleased with the inside, I think I might come back to it later and make it look a lot nicer. Last but not least, we have these two exhibits that I added in place of the one exhibit that they actually have at the Cleveland Zoo and the meerkats. So I kind of wanted to keep it with the, the rocky theme as you can see in the meerkat picture where they, it looks like they kind of got a termite mound going on. So when I added the, the rocks, I kind of wanted it to resemble the termite looking mound in the actual pictures. And I was actually very happy with how these exhibits turned out. I, I wanted to get the huts in there and I wasn't sure if I can make the square exhibits look good in the circular huts, but I think it actually turned out very nice. So now I'm just adding the flooring so that you just, so that you don't see the ground. So I thought that would take away from the experience of looking inside this hut. And then I do add these, these tree branches and pottery in there just to give it a nice look and some dimension and not that it's just a plain, boring exhibit, you know? I wanted, wanted it to be something nice to look at. Here 
I'm adding. I added a couple snakes in there. I think if I remember correctly, I believe it's the puffer adders. Puffer adders. So I think they and maybe another snake were the only ones that I think were from Africa. But here I'm trying to make these stones look look a little bit like the the termite mound or the stone area in the actual zoo next to the meerkat enclosure. So now I'm just copying this enclosure and I'm going to duplicate it and make it the same one over here. And I, I know I keep saying this, but I am very pleased and excited with how everything's turning out so far. You know, I've got the reference photos for guidance, but I like how I'm adding my own little touch to everything too. I think it's just, I'm very, very pleased with how the zoo's turning out and I hope you are too. So the center little garden area that I added, it wasn't, they did have some sort of plant garden spot. I couldn't find any pictures that I could see it very clearly and very well. So I just decided to make this part my own and there are some elephant statues Somewhere, I wasn't sure where, but I thought they would look very nice if I put them on the inside of this little garden area. And I'm very happy with how this turned out as well. So here is the 
finished African village. I am very, very pleased with how this turned out. I think it looks very nice and I hope you enjoyed it as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on the next part of building. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.